2021 is the 10th anniversary of Ninjago, so I thought it'd be fun to look back on all of the seasons, specials, shorts and everything and review them all. Welcome to Ninjago Reviewed. To begin this crazy review project, let's talk about where the whole show started, the pilots. There are two, four episodes that began the series, depends who you ask, but 10 years on, are they any good? Well, to answer that question, yeah, they're great. Now, obviously moments have been dated, but I thank them for starting Ninjago, and they're the reason as to why the brand is as successful as it is today. The characters are all great, and Garmadon is threatening enough, and has a very classic feel that no other season gets close to emulating. Overall, I really like this special season, whatever you want to call it. But now, it's time to focus on what the highlights are for me. Kai is great in this special. He's a likeable enough protagonist and has a satisfying enough arc and I have no other complaints with him. The other ninja are all nice and likeable too, despite the fact they don't do much in the way of character development. I also like the simplicity of the weapons fetch quest and the stakes are great for the runtime. I also love Garmadon as a villain alongside Samakai, who I feel is a bit of a missed opportunity. On that note, let's get on to the bad. When it comes to complaints, I have few. The animation is a little dated, which makes sense given its age, but it should be pointed out. I also think that, as I mentioned, Samukai is a missed opportunity and should have done more. My main reason as to why it isn't too high in my overall season ranking, however, is simply due to me liking other seasons more. Now in my other reviews, I'll go through the best and the worst episodes, but due to the length of this season that's kind of pointless. Here, however, an op is an opportunity to mention the six mini-movies, which were the first, first Ninjago things I ever watched. I like all of these a lot, but the best is definitely Battle Between Brothers, as it's so important for the overall canon. If I had to pay, pick a least favourite, I'm sorry, the new masters of Spinjitsu, but I'm looking at you. My overall thoughts on both the pilot and the mini-movies is that they're all great beginnings and introductory stories for the canon, uh, and I give it the score of 8.3 out of 10. If you like this review, I know it's shorter than the other ones will be, please like and subscribe and uh, Rise of the Snakes review will be next, so you don't want to miss that. I have to give a big shout out to my friend Brixon Kyber for editing this video, he did an amazing job, so go subscribe to his channel, linked in the description, and show him some love.